Joe? Hey, Tyler. Joe, it's hot today. Yes. We've been going all day, bro. It's it's April, and there's some serious sweat going on over here. Subaru thing is next to us. He's having a fun time with the sweat. <laughs> but uh, Raptor's back again. Raptor's back. The or, client uh, loved the lights. So, so he wanted more, apparently. He wanted more. So now I got the grilled lights. We're going to put all the grills together. Yep. We got three different styles. One style there, another style there, and then that one. This one does more of your straight ahead, um, so it gets straight out in front of you. Yeah. This one has a straight ahead and a floodlight. Okay. So it kind of like, kind of like what your fog does. Yeah. And how it goes out and opens up the whole area. Yeah. And then we have a pure fog setup. Cool. Floodlight, that's what they call it. They call it. Yeah. Um, and then I'm putting um, lights all across underneath the bumper of it. Yeah. Um, down the sides of the running board and across the back bumper. Cool. Have the full underglow kit underneath the whole bottom of the car. Sweet. Truck and wheel. these and this bracket sits right behind the grill. This bracket is going to go right about there. Okay. On either side. And all the pods all the are going to sit. sit right up in there. Oh, nice. I could do it down this way, maybe like that. So yep. it sits a little lower inside the pod system. Yep. I just got to look at it. See which way it goes. See which way it goes, which looks the best, give it the yep. best lighting to come through here. Cool. And Sweet. uh I want to show you the video of it all lit up and blinding people down the road. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. No problem. What do we got here, Fudge? You talking to me? What's up, Tyler? What up? We got some fun stuff on the desk. Table. Desk. This Office. is the workstation. This is the working bay. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so you guys may remember this car. Um, got a good amount of views on our YouTube channel. Yeah. We did a... Pure stage two um, with the off the shelf MHD map yep. in this car. Uh, he's put about 5,000 miles on it since you drove it. Okay. So we're coming in now. He's doing full service plugs, coils, just, just preventative stuff. Good. Um, but Sweet. on top of that, he's also swapping out the clutch. Okay. Because he's he, eventually it's going to start slipping right. just because of the power and stuff. So he just wants to make sure that he doesn't have to deal with that. So here we have the stock assembly. Okay. Um, see the stock clutch days, not too bad. Actually in pretty good shape, a little hot here and there, but not horrible. And then we have our spec stage two over here, which has a six buck on one end and then a full face on the other. So it's nice, sweet, comfortable, easy to drive. And for um, the pure stage two, is this like a clutch that you would recommend? Yeah, for, for an everyday that's easy to drive, that's definitely a good option. Okay. Um, there is the stage three available, the and there is twin discs available too, um, if you're planning on going a little bit higher. Um, but this is pretty much where we're going to be at. Sweet. So, obviously, the biggest difference is this is your stock dual mass flywheel. You can see how it moves. Yeah. And then what we're upgrading to is the single mass. So it's okay. just got open back here. It's got the pilot bearing in there, so it's going to be able to bite a little bit harder. Um, which is nicer, obviously, because 
you don't realize that the feeling this in the car is, is kind of like a like when it engages you there's like a delay almost. right so this will kind of get rid of that okay um, it'll be able to hold more power and then it should be good we're also Sweet. also we got the goodie over here what we got here bud? so this this is a turner short sifter okay see Sorry. So we'll go over that too once Sorry. I get in the car. Yeah, and you might as well do shifter. it all at once. You know right? We're already in there. Once, just do it all. You know so. Thanks, Fudge. It is gloomy. It is gloomy. We got we got the Volkswagen shift knob with the new short sh shifter with the new clutch. How you feel? Short. It's short. Is it is it short? Show yeah, us. Like it's it's short. Like that's it. And then pull it to second. That's it. That's nice. Like that's that's nothing. You know what I mean? So Turner says forty percent short. Okay. So it's one of those things in life that it's good being shorter. Mm -hmm. So now this car is pretty much decked out. We got the pure stage two. We got pure the new clutch. Two. We got the spec stage two. We got the shifter stage two. We're ready for action. That's all I gotta say. We're ready for heavy pavement action out here. You know. We're ready for action. Yeah, but so one thing that's important obviously after you put a brand new clutch in is um you can't just go willy-nilly on it you right break it in okay so a lot of vacuum it wants to see so you just bring it up high and then yep. you kind of like let it down this one has a lot of burble it this one has a lot of burble if the viewers remember this one this was the first pure stage shoot we did right like that we filmed I think this is the first one that we filmed. Yes. Because we did... So the other Pure Stage 2, it's actually a father and son. So this is the son. And then the pneumatic wastegate one was the father. Okay. So, respect your elders. You know what I'm yeah. But, uh, so the, the other difference is that car... His dad's car was X-Drive. This is rear wheel. Okay. So, nothing so, to do with any different with the turbo, but... This thing gets crazy. Cool. Oh, it, it can get crazy. If we get, if we get flex fuel in this thing and you know pull E85 in that tank, you know we can make over six all day on this. Thing. Well, I guess he's also running the uh, off the shelf um, MHD map on this car. So okay. If we custom tune it. We could probably push a little bit more juice out of it. Yeah. We'll see. Look at that view. Sweet. It's nice. It's bush. like everything was growing, right? Because it was like, oh man, it's 80 degrees. I'm gonna start growing the pollen. Now it's forty. Coming. Now it's forty. You know, <laughs> dude. I got my blanket at home. That's what I'm saying. It sounds good. It sounds really good. Not everyone's a fan of the verbals, if I remember correctly. Right. But a lot of people were actually asking about the exhaust that this car had. Okay. Um, it's it's nothing. It's literally just straight pipe. So. That's so there's nothing, nothing special about it. It's literally just it's there's literally nothing just to it. Life. Okay. So because the N55 tends to be a little bit quieter, um, even when we're fully straight pipe, like this car isn't crazy loud from the outside. Right. You know what I mean, um, it has a good amount of drone on the inside, but that's to be expected when you fully straight pipe something. Right. Um, but no, it sounds good. So and the car looks great. It does. It's it looks really good. Like, awesome. Thanks, Fudge. Thank you, Tyler. Meanwhile. Tyler. 
Yo. Hold on, let me back up a bit. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the cleanest SDI. I've ever it's had. very clean. It is. Yo, with the, with the, the outside setup, like the lime green calipers, the carbon, the interior is super clean. I like it. Yeah. I like it. I do. You wanna see what's in the trunk? What's in the trunk? Right, let's go see. What we got in here, Martin? Let's check it out. How we like it. This thing's fire. It looks good. On, honestly, I feel like this body body style fits you. You think so? I think so. What is this? This is a Hawkeye. <laughs> <laughs> it's a GR. What the heck's a GR? That's the bot. That's the chassis code. That's what they call them. The GR. What high is it though? You know, I forget. Justin, do you know? This is a stink eye. Stink. Stink eye. This is stink, stink, eye. Stink, stink, eye. stink eye. Stink eye. The hawk eye was the one before this one. But yeah, Tyler, you look good in it, bro. Hold on. Photo shoot. Bing. And we're back. Fudge over here unboxing stuff, but not stuff you would oh, think. It's you want to see something cool? You want to see something cool? So. For anyone who's done a starter on a straight six BMW, like an N52 or N54 or something, um, we know I thought we were talking about a Corvette. The starters underneath the intake <laughs> manifold, and there's a bolt that goes this way, and there's a bolt that goes this way through the bell housing and the transmission. Right? Look at this guy right here. This is a special BMT uh, ST WE12. You ready for this? Bow. Wow, that's so crazy does, looking. Is this goes onto the E12 that holds on the back of the starter bolt, and then like that. That's crazy. STWE12 by V VIMtools.com. Sponsor me. I'm broke. And we're back to the C8. Thanks, Fudge, for that advertisement. Yeah, thank you.